One of the things that we were trying to do here at the Florida DOT was to collect some objective data on some of the ways that we could change our roadways to benefit cyclists and hopefully to benefit everyone, pedestrians, drivers, uh, transit vehicles. So the first thing we started doing was actually thinking about how do we, how can we better use pavement and restriping lanes so that we created a narrower inside lane, a wider outside lane. And then we started going to different cities around Florida and videotaping this and then analyzing the videotape and actually measuring uh, what do drivers do when they're overtaking a bicyclist, how much space do they give them, and what types of situations, what types of lanes uh, gave us the most separation between a driver and a bicyclist. And so we found that if we took a four-lane roadway with 12-foot lanes and we restriped that to an 11-foot inside lane and a 13-foot outside lane, that that space always would show up as more separation between the driver and the bicyclist. And the more space we were putting into that outside lane, the more separation we would get. It was kind of a nice thing because it was just an experiment. We didn't know if it would work. We thought it would work. And it was kind of nice to find out that it actually did work. So then we went back and we looked at the crashes for all these roadways that we'd restriped, creating this narrow inside lane and wider outside lane. And we found that crashes for everyone had reduced. So if you were a bicyclist, there was less crashes. If you were a pedestrian, there was less crashes. And even for drivers, there was uh, less crashes. So that's a good thing when you can do something that benefits one particular group and that there's an overall benefit for everyone.